Hi. I'm Nikki. Let's find out what is Workday Tenant. What is NOAA's a tenant in Workday? Tenant is Workday's term for database instance. Each tenant has a unique URL and is subject to specific IP addresses and DNS names. Each Workday customer has their own secure tenant that only they can access. Workday has a pricing model as they host the customer tenants in their data centers. Over the course of the Workday implementation, several tenants are used that will support the project deliverables. The goal of the multi-tenant build strategy is to have more and more accurate data in each new tenant as we get closer to go live. GMS Global Modern Services Tenant This is a services tenant with fictitious test data for Workday implementation partners to create demos, test upgrades, and try configurations. Implementation Tenants During your Workday implementation, from plan stage to deploy stage multiple tenants will be used throughout the project, based on the number of tenants allotted to client outlined on the scope of the project. These tenants will be established as copies of pre-existing tenants rather than through data migration loads. Let's deep drive into implementation tenants. How and who does the client determine the no of tenant required for workday implementation? During your workday deployment, several workday tenants need to be used by your project team. Implementation partners will provide recommendations to client, to assist client in determining the number of tenants required by the program. Your project manager must prepare a detailed tenant management plan strategy that outlines the purpose and activities of each tenant at each stage of the deployment, and how you are going to use proxy to assist with the testing activities, which third-party system environments will be required during the deployment for testing at each stage etc. Client will contract with Workday and ensure the number of tenants required are available during the course of the program. Foundation Tenant, Initial Tenant Deployment starts with the creation of a foundation tenant. To deliver the initial tenant, client, implementation partner, and Workday will confirm detailed discovery information provided by client. Client provide the data through Workday Conversion Framework for Initial Load and Workday Foundation Tenant. Workday's Foundation Services team will create the initial tenant and deliver it to the in-client team's AMP, implementation team for further configuration and business process design. The objective of the Foundation tenant is to help kickstart client ability to learn and embrace the application by using actual though imperfect client data in Workday. First Prototyping, Sample Data Load in the Foundation tenant are 1. Core HCM Workbook Data, Basic Processes Configured 2. Active Employees List, Location, Pre-Hires and Hires 3. Basic Employee Data, Job Slash Positions, Supervisory Org and Supervisory Structure Data Load Does Not Includes in the Foundation Tenant are Compensation Absence Management Benefits Payroll Worker History a quick overview of foundation tenants. During the plan stage of the deployment, the initial tenant build is delivered by Workday and represents a partially configured tenant with predefined content from a setup, business process, and data migration point of view. This initial tenant is used to facilitate the business process workshops, design sessions during the architect stage. Configuration Tenant after the business process workshops and design sessions, a configuration tenant is built from the foundation tenant. In the architect phase, this tenant is used for configuration and unit testing of in-scope functions. The full dataset will be converted into the configuration tenant, and it is expected that some data gaps slash issues will persist for this conversion. In configuration tenant team focus on broader data set, this is the second prototyping. 1 Full HCM Workbook 2 All Active Employee and Terminated Employee 3 Historical Data 4 Configured Workday Functionality for example, Absence, Benefits, Customer Accounts, and Procurement And Unit Tested to review and test each individual configuration component to ensure that each unit performs its assigned function independently of the other units 5 After unit testing has been completed, all worker, or financial data, as applicable, is loaded. 6 Data map to target processes, functionality is confirmed, and detailed data conversion and validation documentation is created. 
7 custom reports and integrations are completed and unit tested, test plans and scenarios, including objectives, expectations, and entrance and exit criteria for each, are developed and communicated. End-to-end -end tenant. Toward the end of the configure amp, prototype stage, based on unit testing of reports, integrations, and the overall configuration, the end-to-end -end tenant is built. This tenant is used for end-to-end -end testing and user acceptance testing. Only minimal data gaps slash issues are expected to persist for this conversion. End-to-end -end tenant is a comprehensive build that includes Client's full set of data in all configurations, business processes, data migration, integrations, and reports to support system testing. Note, complete additional pre-go-live testing is performed using the end-to-end -end tenant. Parallel Tenant The parallel build is a complete tenant built with all configuration, business processes, data migration, integration, and reports that will be used for parallel payroll testing. This is a copy of the end-to-end -end tenant with additional payroll data, or a new tenant that does not require a full build. Parallel Tenant needs to contain the worker data that reflects the position at the date of the completion of the pay cycle prior to the parallel run period. All transactions from the legacy pay run should be replicated into the parallel tenant. Catch-up transactions will be performed in order to bring the parallel tenant in line with transactions in production for the equivalent period. There should be no data gaps or issues. Gold Tenant The gold build is the final tenant built and it becomes the production environment. Everything that is migrated into gold must come from the master tenant that is established from a copy of the parallel tenant build and maintained with approved and tested configuration changes. No configuration changes are allowed directly into gold without being entered into the master tenant first. As the go-live date approaches, this the customer's employees are granted access to gold tenant after move to production. Once validated, this tenant is moved to production. Note, the move to production request must be made at least 14 days prior to the requested move date. To summarize, different tenants used in implementation phases are one foundation tenant also called as initial tenant, two configuration tenant, 3 end-to-end -end tenant 4 parallel tenant 5 gold tenant Once the implementation is complete, there will be 3 or more tenants, depending on the customer budget for post-production supports. Let's deep drive into the post-production tenants. During deploy stage production tenants is built by moving the gold tenant into a production state. The production tenant is the actual production system for the company. Two set of users use the production tenant. One employees and their managers. Employee to quickly access to basic personnel information, such as pay slips, leave balance, submit timesheet, apply leave etc. Managers is responsible for reviewing, verifying, and approving the request submitted to him. 2 HR business partner that is payroll team, benefits team, compensation teams etc. for performing their regular activities. For example to prepare for a pay cycle, HR will be responsible for running and reviewing certain audit reports in workday and fixing any errors they find. The payroll team may then rerun these reports as a final check prior to calculating payroll. These changes are done directly in production tenant. Sandbox tenant the creation of your sandbox tenant coincides with the timing of your initial workday service go live date. The sandbox tenant is a copy of the production tenant and is used to test changes prior to implementing the change in production tenant. The sandbox is refreshed with a copy of production taken on Friday at 6 p.m. PT during the weekly service updates. Sandboxes are isolated from production, therefore changes you make in sandbox do not affect production and vice versa. Sandbox is used for a variety of purposes. Update and test existing workday configurations. Modify existing or develop a few integrations. Needing additional functionality. Sandbox have a few restrictions. 
one you cannot request to have your sandbox refreshed on an ad hoc basis outside of the weekly service update. However, you can request up to two consecutive refresh exemption tenant requests if you do not want your changes in sandbox overwritten by production. 2. You cannot export from your sandbox. 3. Workday cannot process a sandbox backup request. Sandbox Preview Tenant The Sandbox Preview Tenant is a copy of the production tenant, but it additionally contains new functionality that may be available in a future feature release. Note that future feature release could be targeted for an unspecified future feature release, as they could undergo changes based on feedback or new desired behavior. Workday deploys the features first in the preview, new releases, before being deployed in production. Workday releases. Twice each year the sandbox preview tenant is auto-refreshed from a copy of production taken on that Friday at 6 p.m. PT. And Workday releases useful new features and functionality to all of its customers, in the sandbox preview tenant. Air releases happen every week during the five-week preview period, not just on day one. Five-week window, as each weekly release from Workday will include new functionality. Team will work on new functionally change impact on security, reporting, integrations testing, VP testing and regression testing, by making sure configuration and data are performing as expected on the new release and take action to prevent any issues from appearing in production where end users could be impacted. Sandbox Preview Tenant's contents will be pushed to and overwrite your production tenant at the end of the five-week update by Workday. Immediately after the conversion to production, any configuration or setup changes identified during testing and preview must manually be configured or set up in production. Implementation Tenant Used in Post-Production Support As we know there are limitations to configure, integrate and test new functionality in Sandbox, as the changes will be available in Sandbox only from Monday to Friday, also you cannot request to have your Sandbox refreshed on an ad hoc basis outside of the weekly service update, client team use an existing implementation tenant. For larger post-implementation projects, like develop new integrations as business needs arise, implementing new work streams or additional functionalities that was not part of your original Workday implementation, organization continue to use one or two implementation tenants for these changes. Let's summarize the Workday tenants. 1. GMS, Global Modern Services Tenant, used for demo. 2. Implementation tenants are used for deploying Workday. 1. Foundation tenant. 2. Configuration Tenant 3. End-to-end -end Tenant 4. Parallel Tenant 5. Gold Tenant 3. Post-Production Tenants are 1. Production Tenant 2. Sandbox Tenant 3. Sandbox Preview 4. Many organization retain 2.0 R3 implementation tenants during the post-production support activities, 